All right, Luke is right to the point. I love that about him. Uh, he's very confident about his date with Stephanie. It's commercial free New Country 99.5 QYK. Uh, they went to Capitol Grill. Great spot. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he said he paid for the deal, or paid for the meal, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, they got a deal. Yeah, yeah. but he, he said he did. He checked all the boxes. You know, walked her to her car. Um, he did say at the end of the date, she texted him. Uh, they, she got home safe. But that's the last he's heard. He's like, honestly, we didn't get into any, any heavy topics. It was a perfect, honest date. So let's try to call her right now and get her on the phone. Hello? Hi, good morning. Is this Stephanie? Yes, speaking. Who is it? Hey, Stephanie, sorry to bother you this morning. This is actually JR, Lana, and Kevin over here at 99.5 QIK. How you doing? Okay, uh, this is random. Hi, I'm yeah, well. Totally Good morning. random. I would be really worried if it wasn't random. Uh, but we wanted to see if we could talk yeah. to you for a second um, on the air, and it's about a date you went on. But would oh you have to have God. a couple minutes? Um, oh, my gosh. Um, just a few minutes. Okay, great. Yeah. So do you think you know what date we're talking about? I've only been on one date in the last month, so this isn't really difficult to figure out. Okay, so you know we're talking about Luke. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just tell you what Luke told us. Luke said that you guys had a great time, and he said you guys stayed away from any conversations that could have gotten a little dicey. Um, He thought you had a great time, uh, said you were beautiful, said he could see himself spending more time with you, and you guys went to Capitol Grill. But now setting up another date with you has been super tough for him. And uh, we're just seeing if we can help out. So what's going on? Um, All of that is accurate. But um, the part he left off, left out, was that he's literally the laziest guy ever. Uh, Luke put absolutely no effort into our date. And that was just a really big turnoff for me. Well, Capitol Grill's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, he said he paid for the date. Right. I picked it out. He couldn't do that. He, and I thought, okay, he's just being a gentleman, letting me choose the, the restaurant. But that wasn't it. He literally had me pick it out because he's super lazy. Was he late? No. How could you be lazy on a date? I'm, I'm confused. I don't get it. Okay. Luke showed up on our date just dressed completely inappropriate for a restaurant setting. And I was just, like, shocked and confused whether as to whether he wanted to be there because he just, he just looked completely out of place. Okay, so my question would be then, what was he wearing? Mm-hmm. He was he was so embarrassed. He was in a basketball jersey, some joggers, and then Crocs. Oh. <laughs> and I wore a dress. Like, I thought out about, you know, I this was thought out. I was, you know, I was dressed nicely, and I was sitting across from someone who looked like a child. <laughs> like, what are those sleeveless right. ones? The basketball yeah. jerseys? The basketball jersey. Yeah. At Capitol Grill? Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. I'm surprised they let him stay. I know, <laughs> yeah. seriously. I'm surprised they let him in, yeah. Yeah. So you, in your mind, hey, listen, I put a lot of work into what I, I wore. You just kind of showed up is what you're, what you're feeling. Exactly. It just felt like he didn't respect that we were going on this date. He didn't respect me. And I felt ridiculous to be there, you know, with all of the effort I put in, uh, you know, sitting across from someone who clearly doesn't care. Okay, let me get his side of this because we do have him on the phone with us as well, Uh, Stephanie. I want to bring him back on. Uh, Luke, you there? Yeah, just because of what I was wearing. Like you even said, the rest of the day went good, so... Luke, it's not what you were wearing. It's the fact that you didn't respect this date. You rolled out of bed and came to Capitol Grill, and that is embarrassing. I didn't roll out of bed. That's, I I mean, those were nice joggers. Like, that wasn't just some (laughs) targets. Those are... Expensive joggers, and we were on the patio. Other people were wearing Crocs too. So it's no. more about like the chef. Well, you were wearing Crocs. I'm telling you, it was inappropriate, and it made me feel like you didn't care about this date. You're really just that shallow that you got hung up on what I was wearing. No, I'm not shallow. I I care about presentation, and people were looking at us like we didn't look like we were belonged at the same table together. Who cares what other people think? I care. I care. I don't want to look like I'm sitting across from a child. A and child, be, okay. Yeah, a child. Wow. Someone who's, who's incapable of putting the effort. And honestly, I wasn't going to have this conversation, but you've chose to have the radio call me, so I'm letting you know. 
Well, who's being a child that, you know, you don't want to even have a conversation. You just ignore the, the thing. Let me ask you a question. If things were different and let's say you guys went out again, uh, Stephanie, would you be willing to, to see him again if he, if he dressed differently? Here's the thing. He doesn't seem like he understands that first impressions matter. I feel like he still thinks he didn't do anything wrong, and that's super problematic for me. Luke, would you dress differently if if it you know you knew it would make her happier? I mean, no. Like she just said, <laughs> I don't well, think I did anything wrong, and she's right. I didn't do anything wrong. I think I looked pretty good when he looked in the mirror when he left his house and he was wearing that outfit. He's like, "This is the best thing I me. can wear. This is the best mm-hmm. thing, and this is the best decision." <laughs> That I can wear going out on this first date. Which I, just, I just hate that everything else went well, and you're going to throw it away because of what he wore. I mean, so this is definitely a deal breaker for you, Stephanie. You're not, you're missing the point. It's yeah, not what he Jay, wore. You're missing it's it. The fact that he doesn't respect <laughs> he doesn't respect this, and it makes me feel like he's not going to respect me. If you're that hung up on my clothing, then yeah, this is this is a problem anyway. Well. Sounds like you agreed on something. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry that you're not going to be going back out. I appreciate you coming on with us. You guys have a great day, okay? Thank you. Yeah, sure. All right, take care. Wait, so what did I miss? It's not about <laughs> what he wore. It's the fact that he thought that that was okay, and he didn't take the time to put in the effort yes. for the date. It is a little casual for Capital Grill. Yeah, absolutely. If you're, <laughs> yeah. It's it's casual for a first date. All right. Um, it seems shallow to me, but you can tell. No, what you I, think get right now. I get right. it. I get it. All right. Let's see where we're at. 800-992-1099. 800-992-1099.